I went trekking with, well, looking for mountain gorilla in Rwanda last Mate, year. Oh, that's Have like you been? top of my list. It, I would love to okay, do that. Yeah, we, we, we should do it. I would do that again any day because it was unbelievable. So you're not, again, these gorillas are not like in a park or something. No, they're, no, no. In, they're mountain gorilla. They're in their world and you go and look for them and there's no tagging devices or any tech. There's people who have watched the gorilla for so many years that they know where their droppings are, they know where families hang out, they know what their routines are. So depending on what time you're going out, there's someone who's just around them who's calling their friend, uh, calling your guide saying, walk this, this way. This is where you've got to go. Exactly, right. just just to make it very, very clear that you know the, uh, the gorilla is being treated very well. Uh, so you, you're literally looking around and you could be on the lookout for them for like two to six hours. Wow. You may not find them. You're just hiking. See, I love that. Yeah, though, that you might not find yeah, them. Yeah, you might not find them. So we found them in two hours. One group that we heard about, because you go in smaller groups of like 10. The other group that we were friends with, they took eight hours to find gorillas, but they saw them too. And when I went, I was kind of like, oh, we're going to see one gorilla or whatever. Like they're going to be far away. Like I was a bit skeptical sure. because I, I didn't know how it was going to be. And it was incredible because we looked around for two hours and I'll show you the video afterwards, but we got, and we just saw them like hanging out, kind of like how I'm looking at everyone here, just hanging out still. And then all of a sudden they all started walking together and there was a family of 20 gorillas. Wow. And you've got two silverbacks that are like, you know, they're like, their fists are like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like just huge. You slap you and you're gone. Yeah, exactly. And, and it was really interesting because the guides who were there with us, they said to us that when you go close to them, kind of like, and this is why I remembered it and why I'm telling you, it's because when you were talking about the way the whale looked at you mm -hmm. and it was kind of like, you knew it wasn't going to eat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they were saying that when you get close to these gorillas, the only thing you can't do is you can't touch their kids and you can't touch them. Yeah. And so you can't drop something near their kids and then try get it back because they'll think you're trying to harm their kids. Totally. But what they recommended was, they said you had to make this sound when you see them and this sound means we come in peace. And so the sound was... <clears throat> so that's you have to make okay. that sound and I was like alright this is some Disneyland yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. Like I was like yeah I'm not believing this stuff <laughs> like whatever like, I was like alright I'm going to play around with it mm -mm. Yeah. and so I'm walking around so we go to the gorilla and we get close to them and I made that sound because we were told they were like make that sound and then the gorilla did it back and it was just wow. unbelievable. And then there was this one moment where we were walking and we were literally surrounded by gorilla. Now I was getting it. And that's when I was like a bit scared sure. because they were like all around us. And like literally if they ran at you, like I'm done. Yeah, like, it's you know, nothing you can do. Nothing, nothing you can do. And so we're walking, they're walking around us and this massive silverback came up. So I'm, uh, my business manager was with me as well. And so he's there. He's like my godfather in LA. Like he sure, really sure, looks, sure. takes care of me. Love so it. very close to him. And so... This big, um, this big gorilla that walks behind him, and like, I'm looking at him, going, "Oh man!" Like he stopped, and we're all looking at him because he's got this massive silverback behind him, and I'm, and we're all like, "How do we tell him to move?" And the guy's like, "Just be still, like just you know, be really present, like you can't freak out." And the gorilla just went, <clears throat> "Wow!" Behind him, and he moved out the way and just walked past. Wow! And it was just, it was that same presence that you're feeling that I felt with them, and that's what I mean. The sure. living, being with another living being. Is, is spectacular, so. Do you think that level of ease comes from the helpless nature of being in the presence of an animal that could do to you whatever they want to? Like, I think part of the reason why I felt so calm when the whale had come up was because there was nothing we could do should it go sideways. Yeah. And I think being almost, finding that kind of inner peace of like, I've made my mind, this is the choices I've made, I'm here now, there's nothing I can do it's almost like you should make peace with your choices, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. No, like no, no. I think that's, I think you've actually taken it somewhere really beautiful, mate. I, I think for me as well, it's humility. Yeah, that's what. And like when you, when you meet someone new, rarely are we humble. Sure. We, we often feel the pressure to be like, well, look at who I am or right, like, right, right. you know, or we're trying to create, even if it's not out of ego, there's a certain sense of like wanting to gain people's like and respect. Yeah, and you Whereas want to impress like, people. No matter what I do, this whale or gorilla is not going to like or respect me. Sure. So I better just be humble about it. Yeah. And at peace, as you said. And it levels you. And it levels you. And it, and it allows that human being, that, that being also, of course, it's not, you know... Of course, we're not rec there's no we're not recommending that you just go into these places. I wouldn't, but, I, yeah, yeah. But the idea being that I do think there's something magical about nature where humility is kind of nature's way, mm -hmm. and it is that what you're saying that when you're at peace with your choices and you're at peace with here we are, here I sure. am, I can't do anything, and guess what? It's okay. Right, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah, it, yeah. It's somewhat sort of like I've made a decision. If the decision is a mistake, you got to live with it because yeah. you made it. 